for covering it, uh, for covering the story today. You know, it's uh, it's a, it's, I'm from Texas, so it's a cold, rainy day, and uh, to see so many lawmakers behind us, uh, bipartisan Democrats and Republicans, uh, just shows the commitment to this issue. You know, right now we've had uh, 14 Border Patrol agent, uh, CBP, uh, Customs and Border Patrol agents that have lost their lives due to suicide. And so I'd like to take a brief moment to uh, just honor them. So we will we'll take a moment of silence for them. Agents, uh, three of them, which are which are right here, uh, are, pu are public information, but 11, 11 of them are not. And part of today is to highlight these aren't statistics, these aren't numbers on a paper. These are real people impacted by, you know, their families have been uh, turned upside down. And while in Washington, a lot of, there's a lot of division that divides us, and policy often drives us in a lot of different directions. There's a lot of things that should unite us. You know, I have six children. Birth, you know, life should unite us, and death should unite us. The fact that we have 14 agents that have committed suicide is a problem. And I look at it as it's this body that needs to solve that problem. And we need to do it in a manner that brings us all together. So I'm, I'm proud of every one of these uh, members of Congress that have come out today. I'm, I'm grateful for Brandon Judd, the president of the Border Patrol Union, to speak as well. Yeah, I spent 20 years in the military, and uh, I spent five years in Iraq and Afghanistan. And I saw during the height of Afghanistan in particular, a lot of uh, DOD suicides. And one of the things that, that stopped that was putting effort. Congress actually came together, and they passed some legislation that created a task force that, uh, that included DOD and outside organizations to specifically address this. So uh, I've put together a piece of legislation, it's called the TAPS Act, uh, Taking Action to Prevent Suicides. Uh, we've already got uh, several members on it. I'll circulate it, we'll drop it later uh, later this week, but I'll circulate it as well. So the goal is this, the goal is to bring this body together to solve real problems for real people in a manner that is productive. There's so much division in this place. Uh, and, and part of that is, we've, we've already done some things I sit on the Appropriations Committee. Uh, my good friend Henry Cuellar sits on the Appropriations Many of us are appropriators. We've appropriated uh, 23 million for that, but that's not enough. We have to take it a step further. Uh, the last thing I want to share before turning it over uh, to my good friend Henry Cuellar and, and, and throughout the, the other members is uh, Uvalde is in my district. You, you, the Uvalde shooting happened about six months ago. One of the stories that didn't really come out from that was there was a Border Patrol agent that was deployed to Uvalde from a different sector that responded to that crisis. He went into the room and he got to see all those graphic uh, uh, babies uh, and, and, and was surrounded by all this death. And he has had to deal with that every single day from, from, from that point on. And this agent is still working. This agent is still doing his job. But these, these things that they are seeing, the, 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 what they've been exposed to, 100% has an impact on you. I go back to it. It reminds me of my time in the military. These warlike situations are just, they, they, they leave a, an everlasting impact on you. And we're about to go into Christmas. The holidays is usually when, the, when this, the, the suicides spike through. So we wanted to take a moment and come up with real solutions as both Democrats and Republicans, as well as working with the union and others to solve this. I want to stop there and I want to turn it over to my, my good friend, Henry Cuellar, who, who is a, my neighbor to the south. Between the two of us, we represent 50% of the southern border. Uh, we work together. We know this issue firsthand. And, and thank you, Henry. He, he predicted it was going to be rainy and coldy and cold. Uh, so thank you, Henry, for doing this. Thank you.